Hey everybody, I'm going to show you on how to fix the RDK03036 error code. I'm going to put myself into a scenario on when I'm actually in this. This is my cable box. Right here is where I have my cable box. Okay, so let's say I'm plugging in my cables. I'm going to plug in my HDMI cable first. Just, I mean, see HDMI, so it won't really receive HDMI then. Get right here. Then we'll plug in the power cable. Now, what if I forget to plug in my coax cable? Well, you have to first let the entire thing boot up by itself, so you can just watch it boot up. Then you get the classic welcome screen from this. I thought this went extinct, but now it's back. But this is what you would see when you got an Xfinity box back in the day. Just a uh, disclaimer, this screen used to freak me out back then when the cable box was updating because I had no idea what was going on and I thought like the TV was about to get hacked or something but yet again this was me in the past but now this is present me and I'm still kind of freaked out because I wake up in the middle of the night and see this I'm like what do I do what do I do so I just go back to sleep give it a minute and now it's at its current welcome being video being video. Hopefully I said the last two right. Oh yeah, the it glitches a little bit. I wonder why my TV says STB rest of you design. I guess it's because of the cable box. Alright, see the welcome being video sign. Oh this, this light is now completely blue. But just remember this isn't plugged in. Give it a minute. Why am I can't? Why is, why is the camera panned up up there? Pan it down. Okay, thank you. All right now it's the welcome connected to your entertainment experience. What is that? Then you're just gonna wait a few minutes, and then the error code will show up. This is like if you forgot to put in the cable part, but. I can't really go downstairs to my main cable box because that's where my everybody is watching TV. But hypothetically, if your if your main like the main set top box is is coax cable, coax or coax cable, however you like to say, is not plugged in to the is not plugged in to the coax to not the coax cable slot on your set top box or on the cable. Or on the out wall outlet, uh, it would show the RDK zero three zero three six, and all TV in all TVs would all TVs with this with a cable box would show that screen. Now, hypothetically, I'm saying this again, but hypothetically, if your set top box randomly shuts off and it like dies, true story that happened to me like I think last winter. I think 2022 winter, and and pretty pretty much uh, when we were watching Christmas movies, uh, the cable box shut off, and that means basically all the cable was dead. Yeah, all the cable was dead. So we had to take it into Xfinity because that was our first cable box since 2017. And it served a good five, I think a good five or four years, I think five years, before completely dying, sadly passing away. And then we got a new set-top box, and I saw every single part of the setup instructions. Thanks, Comcast Network 101, even though it's now an archived network. Alright, still waiting. By the way, it's a school night, so... Of course, I'm recording this really late. 
Wait. Oh, and also, it could happen if you have if you have the coax cable connected into the wrong area of your coax. I keep saying coax and coax. I have to stick to just one word. I know, this I just by hate this hate the updates every now and then because it takes so long long for the welcome screen for the connecting screen to finally connect. Then I could just see that blue black what the heck? That blue background saying nothing. Just the three dots. Honestly, I'm just gonna keep the camera pinned right here. While looking at my old Xfinity of the videos on my computer, I don't have the vol volume on because what's the point? Just gonna wait till it triggers. Are you guys bored yet? Huh? You guys are bored? Just waiting? Me? Talking? Just looking at a welcome screen? My 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 arm is really getting tired from holding this camera. Tell me about it. I'm just yapping away to people. Curse the three dots. I hate them. All they do is wait. Make you wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's just too annoying. Alright then, while we wait for this, let me show you a little remote hack. Hit the setup button, and when it hits green, probably hit A or B. I think it's B, like A or B, and then you will unpair your remote until you just have to pair it again. Pretty cool. It's a pretty cool looking, looking. No, it's a pretty cool little tip, or more likely like a trick. Like a, it's like less like a tip, but more of a trick. Like your remote. I'm gonna be Comcast Network with a one man for a second. If you go in the guide and just hit the rewind, hit the. I'm pretty sure it's either the page up or down or the. Fast, fast forward or rewind buttons to go jump a day or jump back a day. I think. Yeek! This thing is actually getting hot. Holy crap! Okay, hurry up, dude. This camera is heating. My gosh. You know what? Well, this takes forever. Let's. Let me give you a brief history about my experience with Comcast. My experience with Comcast... I'm sorry, story time. I'm, I'm gonna yap. I'm sorry, guys. But when I was really... When I was, you know, first born, I was born with Comcast. The old Comcast provider with the Comcast box. And that weird-looking gray silver remote. And it would... I would go on to the most random channels like Channel 6, Government Access Programming, Channel 1995, Comcast STP Compatibility, or Comcast Network 101, or Weather Channel. Well, that's not really a weird channel, it's just a channel I'd like to watch. Sprout would normally be on, rarely at times Nickelodeon would be on, uh, a lot of the times Cartoon Network would be on, uh, most of the time. Disney Junior shows would be on, but more likely I would have the Weather Channel on because I'll just just you know I if you don't know about me uh, my brother is actually a weather like a weather enthusiast and he likes to do weather so he's you know looking at a lot of the outlook weather outlooks so we mainly just look look at Storm Prediction Center but. This is an Xfinity video, and there it goes! Final freaking Lee! Alright, 
Sorry, there seems to be some trouble. Please tighten your cable connections and then restart your TV box. This can fit often fix common issues. Okay, let me show you how to finally, finally res help you solve this problem. Alright, so you're going to tighten in your cable. Now you just got RDK 10,000. Insane. Uh, Speedrun RDK 10,000. Now, uh, now, hold on. That's my thumbnail shot. So now you get to look at me, the sorry me, pointing. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can see. Alright, hopefully. Sorry me, trying to tie this stupid thing. Stupid dang thing on. It's COVID swap. Watch that video where I said, where I made a like my point about Nextfinity, Xfinity air codes. Well, that's not really that tight. Like a, me uh, uh, talking about Xfinity air codes. And see, your great your lights will turn green, will turn to its color when it's on, and there you go. You get the blue happy screen. Happy screen with the happy dots. Happy, happy, happy. Alright, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm just going to go back to watch Weather Channel. See you guys.